this 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 is my life right now this is this is what i have to uh, deal with on a daily basis i'm not allowed to have nice things like a nice ac milan hoodie because this little bugger decides to chew the drawstrings on it don't you baxter yes you know what i'm talking about yeah hey eh? anyway hello everyone <laughs> Sorry for the randomness of that. Anyway, hi, I'm Luther FM, and this is episode 11 of the uh, Socio Riser Alliance Youth Only Say. Um, thank you to everyone who's been subscribing so far. Um, just on a side note, if you see this, sh this screen shaking a bit, it's because of Baxter. Nothing to do with me. Um, but yeah, thank you for everyone that's showing your continued support. I've been, um, last week I started doing little youtube short videos with little clips and captions and things like that um and they've worked out really well i've had i've had quite a lot of subscribers due to that so thank you to the people watching the short videos thank you for watching the episodes um i don't know whether you like the new format where i've got the edited version of it or you prefer the unedited version of it but yeah just let me know in the comment section one way or another which ones you like which ones you prefer um and yeah and like i said we'll uh we'll crack on with this episode where you left us off last we started the season in league two uh league two or however you pronounce it l-i-g-u-e um but yeah um sorry brain freeze yeah so basically we played two games we drew i think we drew one or lost the first game and won we won the next game against Kayan or Sayan, however you pronounce them, four nil, five nil. So, which I was quite surprised about. So yeah, so let's just. So this is the intro done. Sorry, it was a bit all over the place and I got a bit distracted, but yeah, it is what it is. It's uh, hopefully you'll find it entertaining more than anything else. But yeah, right then, I'll be back in a set with the first part of the episode. Here we are. So we're playing Bordeaux in the first game of the episode, which is no easy task whatsoever. I am not looking forward to that game. Um, but I just want to let you know that we got four players in the um, team of the week. We've got Pizard, Kofi, um, Diagne and Galvez. So that's nice to see. Um, but yeah, we've got Bordeaux now. We're second at the moment. Only two games played though, so we can't get too overly excited. Like I said, I expect us to get thrashed by Bordeaux. But you never know. You never know. Uh, right, let's have a look at our lineup. So we've got Popov in goal, because we are having a bit of a goalkeeper crisis at the moment. Um, we've got Galvez as right back, Diagne and Fontaine in centre defence, Bastian as left back, Drame and Viltard in midfield, Weisbeck and Pizard on the wings, and then Kofi and Baz up front. So let's just see how we get on. Hopefully we'll get a point out of this game. Um, just to give you, no, doesn't matter. Right. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to be talking about Man United this week. Nope. I'm done. As much as I wanted to back the manager, I'm just done. It's a combination of the manager and the players. We need to get rid of the manager. We need to get rid of all the players if we can. Start fresh if that's even possible, which ain't going to be possible. No one's going to buy our players if they're playing rubbish. They're on high wages anyway. So it's going to be whoever takes over, if they do get rid of Ten Hag, it's going to be a difficult task. It's going to be like um, Labour taking over from the Tories and trying to get this country back on track. It's no, it's no easy task. And that'll be one of the few times I talk about something political because I don't like talking about political stuff. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? On the bright side, at least Liverpool's completely balls up their uh, chances of winning the Premiership this week. So that's nice. Nice to see Arsenal still in with a shout. Um, I think ultimately it's going to be Man City that's going to win again, but you never know. It'd be nice for somebody else to win it, just not Liverpool. That's always my philosophy. I don't mind some of Liverpool fans, actually. There's some decent ones. Copsy, if you're ever watching this, you're a decent lad uh, on the side games forums, but there's a few plonkers that 
you know, I won't talk, I won't name them, but yeah. If you're a Liverpool fan, please don't take it personally. I've just unfortunately had bad experiences with Liverpool fans. <laughs> right. Bazaar's knackered. There's not much happened in this game. It's been a very uh, quiet game with barely any highlights. Which is not a bad thing when playing Bordeaux. I'll take a nil-nil draw any time. This, this is a game we're not expected to win. So, um, yeah. We're doing alright at the moment. Anything can happen there. They might get their SHIT together in a second. They might score, but we'll see. Alright, we can't take any more players off. Uh, we just got to hope we can just finish this game. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's so... Oh, yeah. VAR comes to our rescue. Come on. Is it going to be... It's going to be a goal or not? Yes, get in. Well done, VAR. I love VAR, mate. Uh, we've been the better team if you look at the stats, really. We've had more shots, our XG, uh, XG's been better. That's all right. I'm not bothered about that. That's um, that's good. I don't mind that. First result. First game of the episode. Uh, I'll take that. So, yeah. Just uh, I've just noticed this, by the way. Um, I was just holidaying to the next game. And uh, this come up, which is a nice bit of earner for us. So we get 3% of Marcus Taram's uh, transfer from Inter to Liverpool for 81 million. Um, and we get 2.44 million, which is a nice bit of cash to add to the kitty. I didn't even know Marcus uh, Taram used to play for social. I've got to, oh, there you go. He was there for quite a lot while, actually, before he went to Gunchap and then Gladbach and then Inter. So he's had a decent career. Uh, he scored a lot of goals for Inter that season, didn't he? Might be worth picking up if you're a top t manager in a top team on Football Manager and you're looking for quality players. Might be worth signing Marcus uh, Taram. You could probably get him cheaper than Liverpool paid for him, I reckon. Um, but yeah, we did well out of that deal. We did better than Gladbach because I think uh, Gladbach only got a small percentage. But yeah, we got three million there and he got... 1%, so whoever structured that transfer did well. But yeah, that'll be going into the wage budget in a second. Uh, do that now, actually, before I forget. Oh, I can't. I've already got the maximum amount. Uh, there you go. Uh, just seeing if I can... Nah. Right, it's nice to have 12 million in the bank. Let's have a look at the projection. We project it to be minus 2 million though. So we make a loss about five, just about an average of 5 million each season. So we just sell a couple of players here and there. Um, if we get promoted to League One, we'll be all right. But I don't think we're going to get promoted this season. You never know though. Right, so our lineup is basically the same, I think. There's no changes I can see. So let's just... Oh, for Tars in for Baz. That's about it. Um, yeah, a bit of a boring start to the episode with that nil-nil draw. Hopefully this game will be... This game is a game that I expect us to win. We are playing FC Ruin, who we beat uh, last season. They were second in the league, though, so they're not going to be slouches by any means. We're not going to have an easy... I don't think we're going to have an easy game, but I think we'll win. Look at that, was beautiful little techers there. Oh, nearly scored in the first minute. That could have been probably the quickest goal in League One history then if he scored that. Vitar. Right, Viltard. I don't know who that pass was to, but it wasn't to one of our players. Is Viltard a double agent? Is he playing for uh, Ruin on the sly? Right, Diagne. Sends it across to Galvez. Galvez gives it to Wisebeck. Wisebeck does a little circle around the thingamaji. As I call it. Um, there's probably a technical term for it, but... Anyway, Galvez manages to get past the player, gets fouled, and we get a penalty. 
get in. Well done, Galvez. Galvez is starting to become a really good right back. Penalty awarded. There we go. Come on, Kofi. Get another goal for the season. Oh, Kofi, come on. You don't usually miss penalties. Oh. Kofi trying to make up, make up for that penalty loss with that header, but doesn't go anywhere near the goal. Well, it's only been nine minutes. We've had got quite a few chances already. There you go, Kofi. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's uh, that's one way to rectify the penalty loss, uh, penalty save. Sorry. Why do you never see any fans in these French games? Is this like a bug or something I don't know about? There's literally no fans here. Oh, there's one there. Or he might be a member of staff, for all I know. Actually, no, he's a steward. So there's, there's stewards there, but there's no fans for them to probably uh, keep in line. Why are we hiring uh, stewards in the first place? Right, Bizarre. Oh, We could be saving money on... Hiring stewards, they earn quite a bit of money as well. Because I know I've got a mate who's a, uh, a steward, security, and uh, he makes a fair bit of money. And, and if we've got no fans, there's no point having stewards there, is there? Over there, I'm headed over from the corner. All right, Fatal with another corner. See if you can do better with this one. Swings it in, great little bloody cross. Great corner that was. Uh, beautiful header by Kofi. Gets his, um, oh no, wrong player. All right, there we go. Kofi gets his fifth goal of the season. Free kick, Weisbeck. Oh, good save, I think that was by the goalie. Yeah, corner to us, Weisbeck with the corner. Oh, headed over by Drummer. But I'm not complaining so far. Good little, good res uh, good win so far for us. If we can carry on with this, good performance. Great performance by the main man, Kofi. Oh, that's uh, quite concerning. I've heard of him before. Have I managed him somewhere? Leon, there you go. I knew I heard him somewhere before. Turned out alright for me in my Leon save when I did like a UFO only save with Leon. That was such a that was such a fun save with Leon because they had Bruno still there, they had A A Aor, who was better than he is in real life. Um they had, they had who else did they have? They had Dembele, they had um they had so many good players in that Leon side from I think it wasn't that long ago, I think it was like two or three years ago. I had a really enjoyable save with them. And also Parma in Italy. It was one after the other. Just brilliant saves. I did about six or seven seasons in each, with each team. Um, I, I struggled to um, offline saves. I struggled to keep interested in a save. I've just started a save with a level 12 team called Cadbury Athletic. In They're based in um, Bourneville in Birmingham. Um, I will be moving to my girlfriend's in a few weeks' time, and she lives near there. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start going to watch Cadbury's Athletic every uh, every time they're playing at home. So next season onwards. Um, but yeah, so that'll be fun, and then hopefully I can do some live vlogging there as well, and to my channel. Uh, yeah, so I'm quite looking forward to that. They, unfortunately, they don't have they don't have a Cadbury's Athletic um, shirt in my size, which is not their fault because I'm big. I'm a big guy. I need at least a three XL for a football shirt, so they only do up to large. I might have to email them see if they can do do one for me for next season. But yeah, I I'm, I'm, I did one season. I've done one season so far. Managed to get them promoted to um, the Midlands League One division or something, I think it's something like that. And then 
Um, good result for us, by the way. 2-1. Hey, sorry. Got sidetracked with me talking about Cadbury's Athletic. Cadbury Athletic. Um, yeah, so got promoted in my first season as champions of that one. And then you get promoted to level 11 or level 10. I can't remember. Level, I think it's a level 11. I don't think you skip a level. I don't think you go from level 12 to level 10. Um, but yeah, I managed to do that. And then, um, yeah, so I'm on my second season with them now. So I'm quite enjoying that. My aim is to try and get them up into the Premiership and try and win the Premiership. So it, it gives me something to get my teeth into as well. And because it's a local team to me, it, it, it encourages me to play it more. But anyway, I'll be back in a sec. Um, yeah, going back to what I was saying about Cabri Athletic before I start this game. Um, they've had um, a few decent players come through there. I mean, they were playing when they were like kids. I think Dan Daniel Sturridge was one of them. Rico Henry um, and Damari Gray all played for Cabri Athletic. But I think it's for their, uh, their youth team. So I, I did Google it because I thought this can't be true. And I Googled Daniel Sturridge and he was there when he was about up to about seven years old, and then I think he went uh, Villa or Man City youth team from there. Um, but, you know, they know they've got an eye for talent, and hopefully uh, with Cabo Athletic, I can unearth some young players, because I'm mostly just, I am buying players, I am, but eventually it will become, once I get to a certain, when I get to a certain level, say League 2, it will end up becoming youth only from them. So it'll, I'll just be, by that point, hopefully my facilities will be decent enough to produce good young players. So it's going to be an interesting one. And then for FM25, once the file is released that's decent and stable enough to um, play at that level, I will be doing a um, YouTube series with Cadbury Athletic. That will be my main save after the beta and all that lot. So, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. And then, like I said, I'll do some live game, uh, a Cabri Athletic uh, footage there. I recommend that you go, you Google Cabri Athletic's um, ground. It's a beautiful, they've got a beautiful building um, where the, by where the pitch is. And it's just, it's such a nice, uh, it just seems like such a nice football ground. But, yeah, just Google it. Anyway, right, back to what we want to watch, which is me playing this, hopefully. Um so we're playing Bastia now, and they are top of the league. So we've got our work cut out for us here. Um, I think it's the usual lineup. Let me just check. Yeah, we've got the usual lineup. So strongest team out there. Hopefully, we'll have a good chance. As long as we try and put 100% in. If we lose, we lose. But I mean, I didn't think I didn't think we'd draw against Bordeaux. I thought we'd get thrashed by them when we drew. So we get another draw. That'll be fine. Um, Dosu, Dosu, by the way, is complaining about lack of match time. So I've decided to, um, he's on the transfer list. We've got a few agents willing to offer him out. So he'll be out the door by, well, hope probably by the next game. Uh, Deo will probably be going as well because he's just, uh, he's not played for ages. So there's no point keeping him. Oh, good interception there by Viltard. Great um, vision by him to notice the pass. Weisbeck, beautiful over the top cross. Bastian. Oh, Bastian with trying to do a Roberto Carlos uh, shot. What, what did he call it? The banana shot. I swear he called it. I think that's what he called it. That, that free kick that Roberto Carlos scored where it just went from one way and then swiveled around the wall into the goal. It was just amazing. Oh no. 1 0 to Bastia. We are down all the way down to eighth. We've gone from third to eighth. Um, I still think we've got a chance of getting a point out of this, though. Right, let's try encouraging the players. Hopefully, that'll help. Look at this, look at this for a league. Leon, Strasbourg, Auxerre, Angers, Paris FC, Bordeaux, Bastia. There's some strong teams in this French league too. If we can get anywhere near 
the playoff sp uh, spots with all these teams in, I'll, I'll, I'll be very lucky. Ooh, we're just at the post. We've come out, we come out firing in this second half. We just need to get a shot on, get a shot on target. We'll probably go for the chance. Four shots now, none on target. There we go. Corner to them. Oh, I thought they were going to score again then. Right, Viltard. The Agni. Intercepted, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Kofi. Oh, come on, Wisebeck. You should have done better with that. Terrible miss by him. Right, let's try firing the players up. Hopefully that'll help. Some usual standout players underperforming here. Kofi being one of them. Gassard. Uh Drame's knackered though, so we'll take you off. We'll take Kofi off, put Vazar, take Pazard off. Put Dossu on. Free kick to Bastia now. Are they going to put the exclamation mark? I don't know. Good defender, Moyes. Good save by Popa. Hopefully Popa can become the new regular goalkeeper because he's, he's quite talented. He's got good potential. So hoping he'll stay in the team. But we'll see. Dosu bombs it down the wing. Gives it to Fatah. Fatah looks for the, the right pass. Gives it to Tete. Viltard. Yes, get in, Viltard. Good goal, good shot. Only a shot on target and we score. As I said, we just need one chance. Right, uh, we'll take off. You put Deo on. Put Bill, take Viltard off. No, it won't. We'll leave him on. I uh, just need to swap the wingers about. Right, let's keep this. I don't mind the draw. I'm happy with the draw, as long as we don't lose. I'll be really annoyed now if they score for me after we just decoys. Come on, hurry up, take the corner. Good, that's good. Another game with no fans. Oh, there's one, there's one fan there, I think. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section if you have this same problem playing in France. I think it's just the bug in the game. I don't think I've noticed this in other in other leagues I've played in. No, come on, don't you dare. Ugh. Thank God for that. Right, they've got a corner. Have they just been playing with us this whole second half? Let us equalise for them to just then score. Oh, go on, Deo. Deo bombing it down the wing now. Ah, that's unfortunate. Um... Yeah, I think it's going to end 1-1 one, one then. That's fine, we'll take that. I don't mind another draw against one of the... I, I, I'm quite happy to draw against most of the top teams in this division and, and then just try and beat the rest of the teams. Oh, God, we've got Strasbourg next. It doesn't get any better, does it? All right, so we've had enough of Dossi. We'll accept that. All right, uh, let's just have a look at the fixtures to see what we've got. Strasbourg next, then yeah, so we've got two relatively I think two games that we can win after the Strasbourg game, then we've got Leon and then Paris FC. So um played so we'll play this Strasbourg game and then I think call it a day. So uh yeah, just bear with us. Um yeah, so just working our way through the inbox items, uh just letting you know that Joel Dosu, who was uh, a standout player for last season, but has um, been replaced by Weisbeck and uh, Pizard who play on the wings. 
So we've decided to get rid of him. We sold him to, uh, I think it's a team in China, I could be wrong. Yeah, so Shendong uh, Taishan. So we've sold him to them. Um, but yeah, he did well last season. Eight, eight goals and seven assists uh, with a decent average rating. But like I said, he's just, just not going to be playing for us moving forward. So we've got better players now. Um, so good luck to him in his career, but he's going, he'll still be here for the next couple of months and then going in January. All right, back to just moving around a bit. Sorry. There we go. Right. Uh, yeah, playing Strasbourg next. Another game on bloody dreading. Such a tough league, this one. I feel like, um, there's probably tougher teams in this league than there is in League One in in some ways, which is sound, sounds ridiculous, but it doesn't seem like there's much difference between the leagues other than obviously if you take PSG out, so to speak, of League One and compare that league to League Two, there's there's top teams in both divisions there. Obviously, Leon go, getting relegated, that was a big one, that was. If I was doing a journeyman save, um taking over Leon in League 2 and then trying to resurrect them, that would be a very good save to do. But I'm not doing that. So, anyway, um, our lineup is... Well, Tete's in midfield instead of Viltar. Viltar is injured for a few days. Should be back in a week or two, maybe less. I can't remember how long he's injured for. But other than that, it's basically the same team. Uh, let's see how we get on. Um, I'm big enough Strasbourg, and they might actually be really rubbish. We just won't we won't be able to we won't be able to tell. They've got a decent uh, striker partnership though, by the looks of it. In uh, Godas, oh, I would look, but it won't let me. I'll have a look in a sec. Oh, there you go. They're already one nil up. Yeah, Lebo Mofiba, a Mofiba, South African player, I think. Yeah, set up by uh, Godos, who used to, Godos, who used to play for Swansea, I think. Brentford, that was it. I knew he used to play for one of the teams in England. Didn't work out for him at Brentford, but uh, still a decent, still a really good striker in League Two. And then they've got this player here called Akbar Salia, who's a brilliant centre back who shouldn't be playing in League Two. Uh, Sergi Gomez uh, used to play for. Espanol, originally from Barcelona. They got Mankilo, who used to play for Newcastle. Sabol, I've heard of him from somewhere. Who did he used to play for? A uh, few teams. Not the player. It wasn't the player I was thinking of. But yeah, as you can see, they've got a very good team. And they've got this player on the bench for some reason not playing. Um, Emmanuel uh, Emega, Dutch. Dutch player, who else can he, who else, he hasn't played for uh, Holland yet, also can play for Togo, so if anybody wants to, uh, or and Nigeria, so if anybody's doing a save where you're the manager of the Nigerian or Togo national team, maybe you could try and get him to convert and play for you instead of Holland, but you'd have to be quick because I think Holland will probably end up calling them up pretty soon. Right, 1-0 down after uh, four minutes played is not the best start. And they, oh no, oh, I thought that was going to be Kofi sent off then. They seem very uh, quick, this Strasbourg team. I think we're going to have difficulties against these. Oh, Uh, Tete, Tete, uh, Tete doing well so far. 7.1, 7.0 rating. We've had a few shots, two on target. Not None of them worth worrying about though. The 0.26 XG. If we somehow come back and win this game, we could be back up towards this one here. We want to aim to get in the playoffs at least. I'm not expecting us to... Uh, 
win the playoffs maybe because there's probably going to be teams way stronger than us but we can get in the playoffs in the first season in League 2 I'll be happy with that right corner to us we just got to hope whoever gets relegated from League 1 they're not like an, an amazing team hopefully we can't have another team like Leon getting relegated Galvez gives it to Fatar. oh we got a penalty no we haven't it's a bloody offside I thought we had a penalty there Right, sadly, Kofi not playing. Oh no, he's he's slightly picked up his game. Bazaar's not playing well though. Weisbeck's not playing well. So uh, maybe the wingers will have to come off. I think. Uh, Galvez is not playing well, so we'll take off Galvez. Uh, Bazaar's picked up a bit. Kofi's not there. Bazaar can come on. Hopefully, Vaz can bring some energy into this team. Oh, for God's sake! Uh, well, I did say that we had our work cut out on this game. It's even harder now. Fontaine, you can come off. Boris, good old Boris can come on for you. Uh, Weisbeck can come off, we'll put Dossu on. Right, oh, they've got a corner. Luckily they've headed it over, or wide. Right, we've got a free kick. Oh, that was a blast of a shot that was by Bazaar. Could have done better though. But it gives us a slight chance of getting something if you scored that. Oh, I feel like they're going to cock up here. I feel like we're going to exploit them. Oh, maybe not. No. Ugh, 3 0. Oh, well. We were due a loss. Plus we've got some knackered players on the pitch as well, which don't help. Uh, uh, we're doing alright though. Six games played, nine points. We are seventh. That's not too bad. We need to up it a little bit though to get in these playoff places. Right, before I go, let's just have a quick look. Yeah, so... Yeah, so we're down 7th in the league, 6 game play, 2 wins, 3 draws and 1 loss. I think these draws have not helped, but then again, we were playing 3 good teams there. Uh, 9 points, we are 3 points away from getting back up to 2nd if obviously the other teams don't play well. Um, but Bordeaux and Angus have got game, oh and Ulta have all got games in hand. So anyway, perfect time to save this. Thank you as always. Uh, let me just expand this. Yeah, thank you as always. Um, continue to please continue to watch, subscribe, and like the videos. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. And uh, thanks again for your support. Bye.